Whoa, Joe Piscopo, I've been up, I've been down, I've been rich and broke, hit some lows. Oh, whoa, whoa, Joe Piscopo, down on my luck, but this time it's different though. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what is up and what is good with ya? <laughs> As you can see, I'm out and about in the whippersnapper behind the wheel. We're really doing it. AA runs, doing things that you have to do to maintain your life. And I am hungry. I want something piping hot in this mouth. Something that's my favorite though. And we all know it. And that is a nice pizza pie from Pizza Hut. So you guys know I always have issues with getting a hot, hot pie. I figured what better way to ensure a hot, hot pie then ordering it for carry out, showing up right when it comes out of the oven, pop in, bing, bang, boom, we've paid on card. We just snipe it and get in the whip and just in the mouth. So that's what's about to go down. And also we were just having a polar vortex in Canada. It's been minus 25, minus 30, minus 35. Disgusting. Today we're rocking minus two, my friends. So it's a nice day. I figured we might as well take advantage of this weather and a hot hot pie let's get it <laughs> we got the goods hot pie bandit baby all right we got to get into this super hot just before we do it's true i did stop at home and make myself a little runny rizzle <laughs> and got myself a nice schnapkin okay so yeah you could judge me all you want but hey small town man like it, my house was just on the way it worked perfectly let's eat this now Oh, the gods. Okay, here we go. Ooh -wee. Okay, quick up close for you. Got the pizza of the day, but I did my pizza of the day life hack so I can get a, you know, half pepperoni and cheese and a half today is triple crown. So that is pepperoni, mushroom and green pepper, but uh, cost me 11 bucks. Perfect. So let's go ahead and rip a perfect bite on this. So cheesy, so hot, just piping, just delicious. Got a runny ranch and get a stupid crazy bite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's how it should be. Mm. I 100% hot. Gotta go savage on this one because I never get to enjoy. Hmm. A pie that's fresh. Mm. That is what's up. Bite for you. Second piece. Perfect. Mmm. Wow. Doing the most. Just heaven. A slice of heaven. Look at the glory. Look at that glory. Oh no. We saved the man. <laughs> Into this crazy bite. Ah. 
I didn't order extra cheese on this, but they really cheese this thing up. For a standard deal of the day. They put quite a bit. Shout out to that worker. Thank you. Cringy, but cravey. Quickly entering into the final slice of the pepperoni and cheese before we move into the triple crown half. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. So it's got a car wash. And if you're somebody who experiences winter like serious winter you know the great debate in your head you're like do I okay so my camera mount just fell and broke and that was a disaster but what i was saying was if you experience true winter and you drive you know the great debate of getting a car wash in the winter because on one hand, you're like, I got to get the salt and shit off pretty often. But literally, my vehicle's already dirty again. <laughs> Not as bad as it was, but it's like immediately pretty shitty looking again. And I'm such a neat freak like that like i love car washes i love my vehicle being spick and span fresh and so clean clean and uh that just really pisses me off but you do have to get the salt and shit off too right so it's necessary but you know Double-edged sword. Another thing that's cool too is that the car washer usually go to, you get out, go inside and pay and wait in a waiting area. But now because of COVID, you get to just stay in the car and go through the car wash on the track. Am I the only one who loves going through the car wash? I find it so mesmerizing, enjoyable, kind of comforting. I love seeing the, the soap and everything like go on the window and then dissipate and get splished around. And then like those things that come at you, the Tasmanian devil sonic things, they're just like doing all that cleaning on the outside. And then you come out the other end and you get to watch like the, the blower just blow all the all the tears away off the window. It's like a mesmerizing experience for me. I, I love it. I think mainly because I have a kid. All car washes were like you stay in the car. And I used to love them as a kid. And as things progressed in the world, I feel like car washes became more full service. Where you don't go, like, you don't stay in the car. As often. Let me know. Are you a car wash fiend weirdo like me? There's got to be more people like me out there. Has to be. Almost murdered this whole pie. I won't finish the eight pieces. This is seven right here. <laughs> Just a medium. So you know, but... Hungry. Was definitely hungry. Hungry. 
those first three pieces were just something else. And that three really hot pieces just reconfirmed why this is 100% my favorite pizza. That's why Pizza Hut Buffet back in the day used to be the tits because you go in, sit down, and they just keep cycling out hot, like little finger slices, and you just keep going up and getting like the hottest, freshest, just little bites, just one, two bites in those crusts. Pizza Hut Buffet was the shit. We don't have it, I don't think, anywhere anymore. I would love for them to bring it back. All right, quick, cringy, cravy, smash, and quite literally a smash of my camera mount thing. That sucks. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.